Hey guys, it's me, Seren, back with another video. Today's hidden figure is Callie House, who was born 1861 and died 1928, who was a leader of the National Ex-Slave Mutual Relief, Bounty, and Pension Association, one of the first organizations to campaign for reparations for slavery in the United States. Callie House is most famous for her efforts to gain reparations for former slaves and is regarded as an early leader of the reparations movement among Black American political activists. Callie Guy was born a slave in Rutherford County near Nashville, Tennessee. Her date of birth is usually assumed to be 1861, but due to the lack of birth records for slaves, this date is not certain. She was raised in a household that included her widowed mother, sister, and her sister's husband. House received some primary school education. At the age of 22, she married William House and moved to Nashville, where she raised five children. To support her family, House worked at home as a washerwoman and seamstress. In 1891, a pamphlet entitled The Freedmen's Pension Bill, a plea for American freedmen, began circulating around the black communities in central Tennessee. This pamphlet, which espoused the idea of financial compensation as a means of rectifying past exploitation of slavery, persuaded House to become involved in the cause that would become her life's work. With the help of Isaiah Dickerson, House chartered the National Ex-Slave Mutual Relief, Bounty, and Pension Association in 1898 and was named the secretary of this new organization. Eventually, House became the leader of the org. In this position, she traveled across the South, spreading the idea of reparations in every former slave state with relentless zeal. During her 1897 to 1899 lecture tour, the association's membership increased by 34,000, mainly through her efforts. By 1900, its nationwide membership was estimated to be around 300,000 people. House and Dickerson were known for visiting black churches, one of the few places that blacks could organize without white interference. The National Ex-Slave Mutual Relief, Bounty, and Pension Association was known by the acronym MRB and PA and was chartered August 7, 1897 with the initial goal of providing compensation to ex-slaves, mutual aid, and burial costs. At its peak, it claimed membership in the hundreds of thousands and as their numbers grew, newspapers of the time often ridiculed House's efforts and the federal government attempted to arrest her and other leaders of the associ association. Excuse me. Despite lack of evidence, the Federal Post Office Department also accused slavery reparation organizations like MRB and PA of frauding their members. And in 1899, the MRB and PA was forbidden to send mail or cash money orders with the United States Postal Service. The Department of Justice opened an official investigation of the MRB and PA, and in 1901, Isaiah Dickerson was found guilty of swindling for encouraging former slaves to seek reparations. The conviction was later overturned. When Dickerson died in 1909, Callie House became the sole leader of the MRB and PA. She too was convicted and served time in the Jefferson City, Missouri Penitentiary from November 1917 to August 1918. Callie House died in Nashville at the age of 67 on June 6, 1928 from cancer. In 2015, Vanderbilt University's African American and Diaspora Studies program renamed its research arm the Cali House Research Center for the Study of Black Cultures and Politics. Cali House, a hidden figure. People had this woman locked up and arrested for swindling for being like, um, DATS need to, you know, start trying to get these reparations. And this was in the 1800s, right? People are very against us getting our shit. Cali House, a hidden figure. There will be links in the description box. Thanks to God as always. See you guys next time. Peace.